Just done a, a really tasty porter review and thought to myself, I've got some of them lovely beer snacks from Cleaver and Keg. And there was one in there that said, try with a decent porter. And I got to admit, I had a porter lined up for it and it just wasn't quite cutting the mustard. It was Christmas porter. And I can't, I can't pair a decent snack with an inferior beer. But I found a porter that's fantastic. Well, in my opinion, it's fantastic. Others may differ. But we've got strips of beef again this time and we've just got Last time it was hot strips of beef, this time we've got strips of beef. And I have to admit, those hot strips of beef were hot. Cleaver and Keg did not lie. You know, that's another good thing. Some people, they'll say, this is hot. It's not that hot. They were they were hot. Not in a bad way, in a good way. You know, they kind of got that heat, that heat to overpowering. The kind of heat that draws you back in for... Anyway, I'm waffling on about a previous snack. So, we've got strips of beef from Cleaver and Keg, and we're pairing it with a... We can get that in a Vivian Porter from Belgium. A Belgian Porter. Anyway, fantastic in the glass. Great tasting porter, 7%. We're going to go have some strips of beef with it. I've got my scissors, but we know they're going to kind of address that kind of tear bit. And it does say best before April 14. So we've got, you know, a good four months ish. If I'm honest, they probably last a lot longer than that in the packet. They are so fresh. I don't think I've cut that quite enough. No, we're in. We are in. Oh, the smell is lovely. Right, I'm going to read the the bit on the back. I won't read the, the first section because you've read that in the first video. Maybe I will actually because maybe you haven't watched the first video, which you should. Check it out. It says, what publican wouldn't be happy to seize punters first slate by a fine beer, but Danny, having been at the forefront of the great beer revolution that swept these noble shores, couldn't shake the feeling that the modern beer drinker wasn't getting the snack that the complex brews deserved. And I agree with that. Meat needs beer and beer needs meat. Agree with that. He agreed with his old school mate Sean, a London characterist and obsessed by the craft of procuring meat as Danny was by the craft of brewing beer, which was when they took matters into their own hands. Cleaver and Keg, good meat, the best in fact, 100% British. Can't argue with that, can you? Ready to be paired with pints that deserve them. Salt cured, air dried, richly spiced, meaty morsels. Doing more to set off your pint and taste buds than a crisp or scratching or peanut ever could. Now, I've got to admit, I love the pork scratching. It will always hold a place in my heart. And a peanut, I love a peanut. But meaty snacks, that's where it is at. So on here it says, our strips of beef might seem familiar. 100% British beef silverside, carefully sourced from a high welfare producer. Then marinated in a warm mix of coriander seeds and black pepper. Then cured, hung, air dried, and then thinly sliced. Sounds delicious, sounds like build song, except we like to think ours is so good, it's worthy of a different name. A decent pulver or a black IPA sets this snack off nicely. Now, that's just made me think, black IPA, something I haven't had for a long time. Well, I say a long time, maybe a few weeks. Love a black IPA. I've got a porter this time, but we're going to dive in. Mm. Oh, there's something about it. It makes me think back to a time when before I really got into beer, the only thing I ever knew when I went out for a beer was like with a pint of really crappy lager and a packet of peanuts. And peanuts have come a long way, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not to down the peanuts, but meat based snacks, meat and beer, we know through the years they've been paired well. These are fantastic. The packet, once again, the kind of Grease proofness, that kind of like shiny bit on the inside. Mmm. Fantastic. I can't, you know, rate these guys enough. I love the name. It reminds me of, like I said before, like a. There's a program, I've forgotten the name now, my mind's just gone. Of like Sweeney Todd Times. The kind of old, kind of oldy weldy kind of packets, you know. But the flavour, mmm. 
even from these, like the, the non hot ones, there's a kind of gentle warming. It's like a black peppercorn. Not hot, but just kind of that like seasoned note. Oh, dried meat is fantastic. You know, how could you like sell that years ago? Like, oh, a bit of meat. Everyone loves their steak and whatnot. But dried meat. You know, cured meat is just fantastic. I've never had it with a beer. Well, you're missing out. Fantastic. I have to admit, these packets don't last long. I often kind of do a review. There's a few bits left and I say to the wife, try this. And she's like, oh, it's fantastic. I have to admit, most of these haven't even seen out of the review section. It's kind of, I review it, I bet it, come out there. Oh, what have you just reviewed? Oh, it's all gone. Obviously, don't eat the kind of, the freshness packet. Hmm. Oh, man. Definitely a, a warming to... Had biltong before, don't get me wrong. And some biltong. This is like not quite, not hot, don't get me wrong. It's like, like that, a gentle warming. With the hot strips of beef, you know, you know you've got heat there. But this has got a nice, like, wow, this has been seasoned. Kind of, you know, otherwise you're not just kind of chewing. Half the thing is the seasoning in this. It's just, if it didn't have the seasoning on it, it probably wouldn't be as exciting. But wow. Fantastic. And the beer, it's just one of the things, it's like the hot ones, you've got the kind of beer that come And I love the fact that they put what beer you should recommend, you know, to drink with it and that. It just kind of I mean, complements it so well. You've kind of got this nice, dark, rich pulver. Mm. Which is fantastic. Which obviously makes you want to eat a bit more of this Cleveland Cave. Fantastic. I said before in the other reviews, I've got one more to review. I've got it beside me, let me just check where it is. Chorizo cuts. Can't wait for some of that. <clears throat> but, everything I've had so far, fantastic. Which, you know, they're onto a winner in my book. Go follow their Facebook, Twitter, hit them up with some love. If you see them somewhere where you can get a craft beer at the same time, buy them. If you can't get them where you get a craft beer, then you need to say to your craft beer establishment, hey, you need some Cleveland keg. Fantastic. You could say it's for sharing, but I wouldn't share these with anyone. Not even my wife. They're fantastic. Get some.